G'day guys, welcome to this week's live on the hulls and as you can see I've been test fitting my newly acquired ultra cheap bargain davits and uh, there's been a lot going on this week. I've actually finally sealed the stern of the boat here and uh, started to cut access holes into this lounger at the back with which to be able to obviously compartmentalize it, finalize the structure here, get in and do the essential tabbing. All of this boat is tabbed and glued, not just glued together, and, uh, and start to work out how I'm going to get information, fluids, and electrical across the back of this stern of this boat. So I'm basically working on that right now. And it's been a big, big week. Janet's up in the factory right now, starting to foam all the hatches she's been fabricating. Thanks for answering the questions last week, and certainly thanks for watching all the video. I shouldn't ask a question if you don't want to hear the answer, and some of those uh, uh, answers I got were very, very good criticism, and I take that on full heartedly uh, for the channel. You know, really, at the end of the day, I'm just here building a boat, and uh, some of the content can be quite dry, and I do need to explain a lot of it, and, uh, and obviously, your uh, comments were very well received. Let's get into it, guys. Lots of boat building this week. All right, the temple building's complete. It took a bit of thinking to get that right. It actually curves away at the outside, but it also has a slight curve in it as well. A bit of a um, long approach to getting that templated was worthwhile. I think I got the shape exactly as I needed. Uh, it took quite a bit of thinking. <laughs> Some days I'm just going to have to work all day on something like that, but that is such a critical part and it's going to make it look fantastic. With the combing sides cut from pre-laminated sheet, I'll then need to work out how to fit these later on as the bottom step platform is now epoxied in place. I need to access the entire underside of the cleats holding them in. So, we have to tab all up under here so all of this has got to be tabbed which is not that bad really it's nowhere near as bad as the uh the other one it can all be done while laying on your back um at this stage but um, i've got a mask on because i've got acetone going off in here but you can see that bead of epoxy i've got to get rid of that tidy that up but that lid's now down it's never coming up again and uh yeah that's a pretty nice little cavity and once I get the stairs in place, we've got to remove these. That's the key. You're getting them out of the way. You'll have a lot more space to get in here. This spot here is the rudder. And I've got some interesting, I've got some interesting conversation about the rudder to come. So stay tuned. <laughs> I do love my new hat. That is just sensational. I was worried this was going to be a non-usable space in here, but it is superb. I've just had a couple of visitors from Melbourne. We had Craig and Gail here and uh, had, them, had a bit of a look through the boat. And uh, yeah, not really sure what they thought. <laughs> I don't think they left thinking, oh, this guy's mad. Right oh, so I am going to glue in this bottom step here and get it glued in. Everything else is all glassed in. The well, the bottom's glued in. This is glued in. I just need to get this part in and then I can start to think about tidying up behind it and laminating it all together so I can remove my wooden framework. Um, very important to get it all structural. My worry is when I do something like this, I need about eight pairs of hands. So I've set up a whole heap of screws as guides. I've got clamps with blocks in behind it. Um, I've got a couple of cleats here that I can actually screw in place pretty quickly, but you've never got enough hands when you're gluing stuff like this. But I'm going to basically just a little bit of room, make sure enough room to escape as well, because I need to get further up into there, into the hatch later on. But yeah, so I'm ready to go. I think, uh, I think I'm ready to go. Never got enough hands. All right, as you can see, it's not fitting. So what I'll do now, I've got it stopping coming out. I'll get inside and push it out and clamp it in place from the underside. And then I'll be able to come back out here and readjust it all. Push in there. 
And I've got these covered in tape so they won't stick. in that was a messy job um, I'm not quite finished I'm gonna go in underneath I filled a little bit of a hole there and I'm gonna get in underneath and just push it out at the top right here um, I've had a bit of a problem getting it to shape there might need another um, like a big screw or batten screw or something through it to hold it in place but anyway we'll see how we go from inside I haven't been able to until now actually walk on this it's still all braced so it's not rising today but I can't walk on the hatch but you can sort of get a feel for the back step here. I can even stand, as long as I tread on the bulkhead, I can even stand here. And this will be the hatch here. You can see all the, all the drainage I've formed. It's gonna work a treat. And all the water will run down onto this step and out over the back of the boat. So no water back onto the deck. It's pretty good, eh? Took me a hundred goes to do that. <laughs> Good, now I've got this one right, I've got to replicate it. So it's been two weeks of hard work getting this guy together, including all the fabrication of the foam, but yeah, that's brilliant. Lesson learned. <laughs> and I'm always learning lessons. Never ever leave a drum of resin filling from a 44 gallon drum uh, more than about 10 seconds because Get you to zoom in on that. <laughs> Lucky we had some spare bar towels because I reckon there's probably five litres of resin there wasted. I heard this glug, 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 glug came over and it's just going everywhere. So tarp your jobs, guys. Put tarps down everywhere because if you don't, you're going to wear it. I don't know how I'm going to clean that up, but that's yeah, polyester. Um, probably about 50 bucks worth. Well, critical mistake. I'm sorry, honey. Rocket science, Ross, leave, oh, no. leaving a I running, walked away, walking away like, from a running tap. I walked away, <laughs> it was like five seconds, and it was probably more like two minutes, but there was a big air bubble I heard, and it obviously <laughs> just let loose, and yep, <laughs> freaking resin everywhere. So that's going to be my job this morning, is clean that up. Uh, thanks very much. <laughs> yeah. Sunday morning, we've come up here and we've laid up two sheets. Go and have a look in there. If I don't get fumed out. You walk right in there. Make it fumed out for a second. But yeah, two sheets there, peel applied. Now that I'm at this stage of the sugar scoop build, I've got to start doing all the detail work. Just getting the construction has been big enough. What has to happen now is I need to start to think about how I'm going to finish the edges of all of these areas, the forward part of the step here and here, and that's going to require coring, coring of the foam. There's no uh, way I can just glass straight over the foam and leave the foam edge there. I need these as solid as I can get them to make sure that they're going to withstand the rigors of uh, of boat life. So how I'm going to core this out is I'm going to use an oscillating tool to slice the foam and then scour it out. Um, I can't quite get a router in there and usually I'll use like an allen key and a drill and drill it out and that's a good way to core thinner foam but unfortunately with this because it's 20 mil I'm going to need to do it a little bit manually so you can see how I've done it here I basically scouted it out in about uh, one and a half centimeters now this is going to be routed at the top here and then glassed over all the way down into here so I need to core all of this foam there's a ton of it to do uh, all the way along the front here as well and similarly along the front of the steps here everywhere where there's exposed foam needs to be filled with cotton flock and vinyl ester sanded shaped and then laminated over and tabbed so this will have uh, multiple layers of tabbing over the top of this front of the step to make sure that it's going to be robust enough for the riggers and obviously the abuse is going to cop over the years it's a sunday morning of a three-day weekend and here i am again i've been here all weekend and I've got gale force winds, I've got almost storm force through the night. It was beast last night. And I've got my mate Jeff, who's down on holidays again, giving up a day to come and help. And that's really, really good because uh, without guys like that uh, offering up his time, you know, it just puts me days behind. And, and we had dinner last night and we're going to chew the cut again tonight down at the brewery with a few of these. It's phone a friend day here on the hulls. Got Jeff back. 
<laughs> I've given him the shittiest job I could think of today. To my credit, I spent all day yesterday coring this side of the sugar scoop. I thought, that'd be a good job for him. He's doing a fine job too. How much fun's that, mate? Beautiful. Boys wanted to deconstruct all your work. <laughs> Jeff's trashing all my work. <laughs> oh, he's got the brush in. Jeez, he's doing a better job than I do. <laughs> mate, you legend, that's champion effort. Yeah, that so you can see why we're coring this. We want to basically fill this with solid glass. This has to be a, of course it's a leading edge of a staircase. It's going to cop abuse when we carry suitcases and bloody food and whatever on. We're going to bang this edge. So this will be bullnosed and rounded. And uh, yeah, it's a messy job, mate, isn't it? Bit of fun. All exposed edges have to be cored. And you can imagine if you build a full foam core catamaran before you glass it, you have to core absolutely every edge. That's one of the reasons why I've done it the way I've done it, is to save myself this effort. This coring effort is epic. And uh, only on a small part like this, we're going to have a full day of coring here. Isn't it? Yeah, the angle. It is the trick. Doing well, mate. Because you're making a mess, though. <laughs> Far out. It's okay, I don't have to tidy up. <laughs> Right, hey, we've just had a session coring the foam here yesterday, and poor old Jeff, turn the camera around. Hey. Oh, me. There's Jeff. Oh, shit. Poor old Jeff has been, well, three and a half hours of coring and a lot of noise, and uh, you, only get, you can only do this sort of thing on a weekend. We've now come to the conclusion we need to work out a bit of a system to fill the core, and we're going to start with this section here because it's the, it's the bit that needs to be reinforced pretty much immediately. What we're planning to do is fill this with polyester and cotton flock. It's not structural and it'll ultimately be routed over and tidied up, but we'll put feed um, the mixture, this cotton flock and polyester, and we mix it ourselves. We don't buy it pre-made. I just make it so that it's got a, a consistency of, I guess you'd call it peanut butter. It's not really honey-like, but it's enough to make it fall, stop without falling off the stick. That's how you want it. And it'll have a bit of hole, but we're basically going to fill this area and then wrap peel ply over it. Now with these higher, bigger parts, that's gonna be a lot of resin in there. I'm gonna to have to work out some way to stop it falling out. So I probably won't do this part today, but I might do one of these faces just to give it a bit of a go, eh? Sounds good. Right, thanks mate, that'll do. There's no Duracell project here, it's all Energizer Bunny. This is Energizer Bunny. I'm, I'm, I'm just about flat today. I've got a <laughs> bit of a neck issue and it's eroding me. Erod eroding me. <laughs> if you actually stop working one day, then you might yeah. then you might actually start recovering. A day off would be good, mate. <laughs> Thank God, we are. So we didn't do too well, did we? <laughs> we need super thick. Super no, it's thick. come together. Yeah, it's, oh, it's all good. That filler's now full. Jesus, a lot of work doing all this, though. I was just saying to Jeff, uh, everyone, that um, that. The beauty of having a caravan is you can get your system right on this side. Normally there's no one filming this, so... <laughs> but normally I get it right on this side by stuffing up a lot, which I've done here, and then go over there and you'll see the perfect end game. But uh, yeah, someone here is showing my faults here. I don't know whether I like this. You don't have to edit this in. It's up to you, big fella. It's going to go. I might, I might have to come back and top up, I think. Yeah. Backfill. Oh, I think we've got it, Jeffy. <laughs> <laughs> it took a bit of working out, but uh, it takes 
takes a guy to spoon it in at the same time. The good thing about this, you've got a bit of working time, but if you have a look at this other stuff we did, it's already going off. Like within 10 minutes, it's already starting to catalyze. So yeah, Jeff's got the method there, I reckon. I force it in, he tidies it up. So I think that's pretty good. All right, we've perfected the method. Now we're gonna come back tomorrow and do the rest. So Jeff's not coming though, he's copping out. No, I can't believe it's his holiday. And I think you're going home, aren't you? I have to go home. So oh, you gotta go home, you gotta go, to go home, to, next day. home to Canberra. Yeah, can't have him all the time. I'd love to have him here all the time, but uh, he has got a job. That'd be and, good. Uh, yeah, no, it's uh, it's great to have a guy like Jeff that doesn't mind doing a little bit of hard yakka because today was gruesome. It was a brutal day. It's, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll use the brush thing. actually. We'll use the brush to pad that down. Run it's the brush a turn on it though. Is no, that that's okay. okay. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's pretty clean. So we've got to do is just run it lightly, and that'll flatten it out. Just uh, get on like that. Ooh. Don't want to push it in too far. Over. So yeah. we'll just get it hook onto the bottom is more important than the top here. Do you reckon you need a tape down or? Oh, I don't think we need to. Yeah. No. Right, so the next morning, show us how hard that is, Jen. That bit that Jeff and I did yesterday, it's like concrete. And that's exactly what we're aiming for. So that's all going to be routed and tied off. So we've just mixed up another batch here. And uh, Janet's up here to help me spoon it in. Jeff's gone home, he gave up. He lost, lost the will to live after yesterday. <laughs> all the noise. So we've got another batch uh, mixed up here to hopefully the correct consistency. And we're ready to go. We're gonna try and complete this whole uh, first two steps of the sugar scoops today. And, uh, and then I'm running out of cotton flocks. So I need to wait until I get some more and we'll go for some more later. So we'll aim for a little hump like that's perfect because that's going to be routed over and rounded. We don't want any sharp edges. Little, a little bit here. 